Hello, Cancer, and welcome to Blunt Sagittaro. My name is Robin, and today, Cancer, we're just going to do a general reading. We're going to see what's coming towards you, what you can expect in the next couple weeks, what Spirit wants to talk about, why. All right, let's see. Let's see why you're thinking that. So, Spirit Guides, talk to us about Cancer. What's going on with them? What do they need to know? What messages do they need to receive? What's coming towards them in the next couple weeks, please? So, we have Go the Distance, card number 47, and No Place Like Home, card number 50. All right, let's see what this is all about. This is all about finishing what you started. So don't give up. Keep going because it's going to get where you need to go. So spirit guides, cancer. What's going on with cancer in the next couple of weeks? What do they need to know? And cancer, for those of you who are interested, I am doing personal readings. If you want one of those, the link is in the description box below. So we have the five of swords. Ooh, we have the ten of wands. We have the king of swords. We have the five of wands in reverse and the queen of swords. We got uh, two people who... Um, like a cold it's like ice cold couple these are two people who let's find out but they're not very happy i'll tell you that so we got the three of cups coming out very slowly there's the three of pentacles and the nine of cups okay cancer and on the bottom of the deck we have the wheel of fortune so there's someone that you're being cold with, maybe being aloof. I feel like you're coming up as the... I'm not sure which one you are. We'll see as we go through. But I do feel like um, the King of Swords is about to approach you here. Someone's about to take control. The Five of Swords, there is a conflict with somebody. And the Ten of Wands, it's a big burden. What do you want to say about this conflict? Um, what do you want to tell Cancer about this? There's the King of Swords in reverse. And I put him right over the Queen... Page, yeah, then mm -hmm. someone you walked away from, someone that, um, yeah, you are the queen of swords in reverse. You cut the king out. You are the one that ended this, whoever this reading is for. Um, this king's not done fighting for this, though, Cancer. Um, they're coming in. They want to offer you you're their happiness. Well, you don't see it coming. I feel like you're sitting here, standing your ground, arms crossed. You know, this person's going to be greeted with um, coldness, aloofness, but behind the curtain here, you can't see what's going down. What's going down is this King of Swords trying to find a way to create peace with you, trying to drop this burden, trying to create a new cycle. He's thinking, he's strategizing, he's planning how to get his queen um, to forgive him. <laughs> the queen who walked away, the queen who couldn't get past what happened, um, the queen who's not, um, I don't know. He knows the queen is mad. There's the queen of wands in reverse. So you're coming up as the queen of swords and the queen of wands in reverse here, Cancer. So you are a fiery cancer at the moment towards this person the three of pentacles here is all about messages they want to invest in you they don't like that you're, 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 they don't they don't like the side of you <laughs> and they miss you and they want things the way they were you are their home you're home to them so they want to work on this they don't want to give up on the what is that ah you're their dream come true their wish fulfillment but like i said you're going to be sitting there with your arms crossed like uh-huh mm-hmm so the Three of Cups, the Three of Pentacles, again, they want to work on this. The Nine of Cups, I just picked up on that. This come out so many times. So they really, um, <laughs> Cancer, they really miss you. They really want to work on this. They know what they want. They've, like, the Hermit is all about, this little lantern represents enlightenment, his consciousness. He knows exactly what he wants, and he wants a brand new beginning. That's the, I mean, it's not really, but we can say that's the Ace of Wands. So they want a passionate new start. They want a beginning. You don't see this. It's behind the curtain. But this person's about to make themselves known to you. And you're going to be the Queen of Swords. What's Cancer going to do? Say, what do you want to say about this Queen of Swords in reverse here? The Hermit. Judgment in reverse. The Devil. And the Sun. And the Queen of Wands in reverse. So we... The king and the queen of wands in reverse. So you have also been doing some self-reflecting. Um, you think they're toxic, but at the same time, they can make you happy. So there's toss there's something toxic about them. Um, it could be an addiction they have, a vice they have. Um, they could um they could just be very lustful. Um, but there's something toxic about them. So you've been doing a lot of reflecting too here. Don't let's 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 not pretend that you haven't been. But the hermit and the judgment in reverse. You've also taken the time to yourself, the time to review things. There's something toxic about this, but I don't know if you can put it behind you to I don't I don't know if you can heal it. So you walked away for a reason. You're you're you don't think this aspect of this person has healed. 
And that's why the Queen of Swords is here. You're not going to be their punching bag anymore is what I'm hearing. So they might have been um, a little maybe verbally abusive or maybe they just they were just, um, you know, come home from work and just be angry towards you and frustrated towards you and just take their frustrations out on you at home and misery kind of thing. And you just don't want to, whoa, hold on, flu. Yeah, you just don't want to do that anymore. I feel like you're working on yourself. You're working on your life. You're working on rebuilding here. But this person um, really wants to go the distance with you. So let's see if this is going the distance without them and creating a new home or if, if you go the distance and try and work things out. They're coming back, Cancer, whether you want them to or not. They are. They want to work this out with you. They want to fix things. So let's see um, how you feel about this. We'll get your potential outcome in a moment. But what does Cancer have to surrender to when it comes to this connection, this person? Surrender to creativity. So let your imagination soar. Stay open to all creative ideas about how to pursue his dream or solve a problem. And the caring connection between these two, between Cancer and this person. Caring connection, please. What is the caring connection? Dreams. Share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. That's too about your dreams. This person might not have supported what you wanted to do with your life, Cancer. You might have been that type of partnership where it's all about them and their career, their life. Like I'm seeing, oh my gosh, you know what I'm seeing in my head? Like, I don't know how to say her name, but Tom Brady and his wife, Giselle, the model there. You know, she said she had to sacrifice her career and now it's time for him to sacrifice for her. So it could be something like that. Um, but share your dreams together and encourage each other to make them a reality. I don't, I don't know if they did. Your soul is preparing to reconnect, so trust the process. Maybe they're willing to, look, I was looking at her dreams now. So maybe this person's seeing how they were ignoring you in the partnership, how you, you do matter, but they were just focusing on themselves. So I do feel like there's a huge aspect of that in your partnership. Let's get your energy oracle message here, Cancer, and see what they want to say. What do you want to say to Cancer? Sword of Spirit in reverse, card number 32. So when one comes out of the deck, the message is in the book. Let's get it for you, shall we? One moment, please. So this card reversed. You might be following your, find yourself feeling an extreme disconnect. It seems that your intuition is failing and you can't maintain peaceful moments you were longing for. You might be distracted by worldly matters or personal problems to arrive at the deeper sense of your spiritual connection. The paradox is that the more you can let go of the drama, the distractions, and the emotions, the more spiritual peace will bring you solutions to these issues. So relax and let go. Meditate on your soul self, your higher self that resides within your heart center. Allow that connection to grow and you'll find that many new doors will open as a result. So I do feel like there's definitely something that you're trying to work on or something you're trying to create. Um, whether this person supports you or not, let's find out. Let's get your potential outcome. So when I say potential, there's always free will. You're going to do what you want to do. And so will this person. And when I say outcome, it's where are you in a month? How are you and this person doing? Are they supporting you? Or did you just tell them where to go? Did you not work on this? Are you trying to? Because they want to. Let's see how you feel. Where's cancer in this person in a month? How's cancer doing? Feeling? Talk to us. The Ace of Swords in reverse. The Eight of Wands in reverse. King of Pentacles in reverse. No, the Four of Cups in reverse. seven of pentacles so as far as i'm concerned this person you think they think they're selfish now they're coming up as the king of pentacles here cancer they didn't support you um they they didn't and i feel like you're at the point where it's time to invest in yourself it's time to invest in what makes you happy it's time to go after your dreams your reality make your dreams your reality i do feel like you miss them um but if they're not going to support you, if they're not going to be there for you, then they're not the right person to keep around you, right? We, You want to keep people who support you who are in your corner, not people who are just going to be selfish. And I feel like this person was just selfish um, and you're you're moving on without them. You're planting your seeds in different areas. And I do feel like it has a lot to do with work or something that you want to do um, in your life that will make you happy. So is there any other message you want to give to Cancer with that? Yeah, the King of Cups in reverse and the heart. And the, yeah. You're better off alone right now. You're better. You want, you got to do, I feel like I'm, I got goosebumps. I'm chilled actually. I feel like you know that you need to do this on your own. So you're holding back with the king of cups in reverse. I do feel like you care about this person, but you also know that 
this is your life. This is your show. You're the star of your show. And if you don't do what makes you happy, then your show is going to suck. So uh, why watch a movie you don't want to, why be in a movie you don't want to watch? So you're being true to yourself. This huge star is your authentic self. The nine of pentacles, you're good. You're doing good. You're, you're seeing the fruits of your labor. You're focusing on yourself. You're being independent and um, taking care of business because you can. So you're going after what you want um, despite that person. And that's okay. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do for you. So let's get your soul journey card. See what they want to say to you before we close off your reading. Um, I hope you like your reading, Cancer. I hope it resonates. I hope it benefits. I'm sorry that that person really wasn't supporting you the way you needed. But sometimes you just got to do things on your own. I feel like that's what this is for you. And what do you want to say? Oracle cards. You're able to discern answers and guidance for yourself and others and animals. You understand animals and communicate with them intuitively. So trust your inner guidance as the animals are part of your life work. So Cancer, that's what I have for you. I feel like you're going after what you want. No one's going to stop you because you know that this is what you got to do. Um, this person didn't support you, so you didn't let them back in. You stood your ground. I feel like you stood up for yourself. You defend, you, you're, you know, you stood up for yourself. You're investing in you. <laughs> so that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed your reading. Please like, comment, subscribe. If you did, let's get your final message to close this off. What do you want to say to Cancer? What final message would you like to pass along? Please. Take time off. The world will not fall apart without you. So dedicate a day in the future to self-care. Plan a trip to see a new movie, a day at home reading your favorite book. Whatever activity will leave you feeling relaxed and refreshed. So Cancer, that's what I have. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the best of luck. Until next time.